<laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, I can't zoom in on the map when I'm driving, though. I love driving like this, though. <laughs> Oh, it doesn't even say the names anymore now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, that's really oh, bad view. Oh, that's actually really annoying. That's, that's pretty bad. Um, well, I noticed that a lot of the places with people's names on them were in the houses going around the lake over there. Yeah. So if you want to head that direction. Oh, I can't believe we have to get out. Uh, Dragon Elf says, Welp, time for roadkill, wolf. <laughs> As Fever's Mail says, Kit, drive home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Hamilton's house is way the hell up there. This is feeling kind of deadly premonition-y now. A little bit, yeah. All right, so we can, in theory, go all the way to Hamilton's house. Yeah. Um, Do we have a... Like an objective? Meet at general store. In the box, I, I need to found figure out why the hell this message. No the message ended up in the doctor's hands. There is a doctor's house. Okay. Yeah. Um. Where is all this snow coming from? I can solve that one for you, Carl. Okay. Did I waste a bunch of film by taking a picture of a bunch of ice things? Because he only kept one. Well, no. So, I think we should go to either the doctor's house or to ha all the way, the clear up the way up to Hamilton's house. Let's do the doctor's house. Okay. So, we'll just Where have to... Where was that car accident? Because that blocked the road. I don't know. Okay. Well, let's try the doctor. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. Um... Yeah, Bucha says, I think your immediate thought... There's the rest stop. ...is the guy who killed your employer. Yeah. Yeah, there's the rest stop. No, if you go back, the general store, that's where we've been. Yeah, the rest stop is where we started the game. Oh, it is? Yeah. We walked that far? Or... No, we drove. Oh, we drove that and far, And then okay. everything went to shit. All right, all right. Um, all right, so we need to... Follow this back to the main road, make, make a, a left, left, and then, then the a, first a right. Tight right. Get in your dam. Get in your dam. Yeah. Get in your your chevrolet or chevrolet. <laughs> your chevrolet. So. Uh, this way. Yeah. Ten. My eye. And then it was a sharp right and kind of going back a little bit. Right. Was it like right here? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> oh! No, we went the opposite direction. Oh yeah, how'd we do that? Alright, turn around. I can't wait till GPS is invented. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Ocean Hut says, "Are we driving our Chevy to the levee?" Yes. <laughs> and Dragonel says, "Might be dry, <laughs> but the levee is dry." <laughs> okay. Uh, Doing it right. Okay. Staying on this road. Yeah. Oh my goodness! Jeez. It's really hard to control Jeez. this, Carl. Can you ease off of the gas? I'm not pressing anything. I'm coasting oh. right now. I mean, I can break. I'm sure that would work, but I got places to be. Okay. Yep. Okay, All so right, I gotta make, make a, left. a left here. Where is the road? Yeah, oh, it's right up here. Sign. Okay. You didn't look to see if anyone was coming. I don't care. All right, over the bridge. Line that up, please. Okay, now. Oh, wait, it's loading. Okay, yeah, we gotta move this to the solid state for the next episode. All right. Right there. Yeah. This boat's like to actually drive with me. <laughs> All right. There you go. 
Okay. And now I believe it's going to be the first one on the left that After we see. The bridge. Yeah. yeah. Ah, uh, yes. One lane bridges. Oh my god, I hate this. Okay. We're good? We're good. Oh. There's actually a sign pointing at that one. <laughs> Doctor's house. Okay, yeah, this is annoying. <laughs> when do we get to get to a, up to 120? <laughs> uh... Dragonel says, keep staring at the map while driving, and we'll all get to say, uh, we'll all get the way to, this is the day that I die. <laughs> uh, and Butcha says, Carl continuously fought the demon that possessed his arms and legs. <laughs> <laughs> it was so cold, already Carl did not feel his toes anymore. And his sausage fingers were just frozen we solid. He has toes. And then Ocean Hut said, this oh. is simply how one drives at Max Brains. <laughs> yep. <laughs> how about the other side? Can you do the other side? There should be a law forbidding doctors from falling sick. <laughs> what the fuck? All right. Oh. No, I can't do the other side. Okay. He was nice enough in to put his Dr. key Bopre's in the mailbox, will, though. The place didn't look much like a physician's office. It could easily be mistaken for a sewing shop. Could it? Yeah, don't you see all the sewing machines? Oh, wait, you're telling me this isn't a sewing shop. <laughs> oh, Frankles is just sitting on the desk back there. Also, write down another, another offense. We're just stealing the doctor shit now. Yeah. Breaking into a doctor's house. Now that's a separate charge. Uh, Draconel says, Carl is a tremendous for fool for not bringing gloves to northern Canada. Problems, yeah. The eye patch was the way to go. Oh. And then goes on to say, why is this narrator so fucking snobby? This isn't just a little boocha. Yeah, I mean... I think, I imagine... Oh, you fill in up got your two bottles. Water bottles yeah. um, oh, I got the trembles as he imagined the excruciating pain that kind of scalpel could no doubt inflict. I mean, we could find out. But uh, uh, miserable walls. Patients probably felt more like in a slaughterhouse than in a doctor's office. Uh, negative. I have to imagine this is the kind of thing where while they, whoever was writing this was writing this was thinking, oh, this will be whoa. Uh, this'll be, like, full of personality. We need to make sure it's not, you know, too bland. Yeah. And it just, oh, it does, it does not read kindly. What does that even mean? Well, it's saved. It saved my stupidity. Are we salty that it's cold? Are we salty that he's ruining wine? Did you take... I didn't take a picture yet, no. Someone okay. had lost a few liters of blood here. Carl's first thought had been a lumber accident. Someone's hand... That's a lumbering a accident. Or a hunting accident. In any case, That's a whoever had picture. lost all this blood couldn't have gone far. Perhaps they were already dead. You sound a little too gleeful at that narrator. Yeah. A communist manifesto. No, Only that just says manifest. Ago, this type is of a list of communism. <laughs> <laughs> and at present, the Western world was very wary of the Soviet threat. Why would the doctor own such a book? Oh, man. Uh, Boot just said, my nightmare, medicine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dragonel says, Carl, shut the fuck up, please, <laughs> with your own internal dialogue. Yeah. And then just says, God, Carl is an asshole. He is. As, as mail said, uh, that earth bit must not have translated well from Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it does look that big in Canada. Grandfather says Canada is roughly 1.3 times the size of the planet Earth. <laughs> Whoa! It must take a while to drive across. Big old Canada. Yeah. That's what the full name of the country is. <laughs> uh, the history... Oh, it just saved. The history of all hitherto existing society is the history of class struggles. Freeman and slave, patrician and plebeian, or plebeian, lord and serf, guildmaster and journeyman, in a word, oppressor and oppressed. Those are three words... 
stood in constant opposition to one another, carried on an uninterrupted, now hidden, now open fight, a fight that each time ended either in a revolutionary re re reconstitution of society at large or in the common ruin of the contending classes. In the earlier epics of history, we find almost everywhere an, a complicated arrangement of society into various orders, a manifold gradation... or gra Gradation? Gradation. Gradation, okay. Oh, because they're grading it, okay. Of social rank. In ancient Rome, we have patricians, knights, plebeians, slaves. In the Middle Ages, feudal lords, vassals, guildmasters, journeymen, apprentices, serfs. You just named all these. In almost all these classes, again, subordinate gra gradations. You getting mad at Marx? Yes. All right, well. Okay. A chamber pot. Good. Fortunately for Carl, inspecting it wouldn't further this particular investigation. <laughs> oh, we're just reading people's medical files. Yep. Unknown woman. Uh, I never <laughs> did quite... <laughs> uh, Bucha had just said, Preach on! <laughs> <laughs> I never did quite catch her name. The men called her Lore. She had a neck wound. There was so much blood. The bullet had done a lot of damage, probably hitting the cerebellum. It was hopeless. She had a cardiac arrest. The men had found her like this. They said, I doubt it. But in a small town like this, it usually it's usually best to turn a blind eye. To murder? God, I've been told to step back from sending out de uh, death certificate. This whole thing sickens me. Fair. Uh, so, Draconel had said... Uh, see, this game tries to be narrative heavy, but that just gives us fuel to rip the hell out of it. Yeah, and, uh, I mean, I'm fine with that. <laughs> I'm sorry if this seems a bit much, but I'm enjoying you guys streaming this. Yeah, so far it's Oh, been no, I'm, I'm enjoying this. It's hilarious so far, yeah. unintentionally, I Ocean think. Ocean Hut says, see, we, <laughs> we haven't been stealing anything. We're just seizing the resources <laughs> that belong to us, ah. the people. Yeah. <laughs> SP Bruce Mail says... Damn, survived a bullet to the dome only to have a heart attack. Yeah. Yeah. That was a bad day. Um, as we say in the trade, the only way to cure him is to kill him. Who's, who in the trade says that? Huh. All of her symptoms point to the same root cause. She's pregnant. She refuses it. She denies it. I'm willing to bet her husband is not the father. Let's just hope it's not Everett Lockhart, though, or she would have she would have an illegitimate child and a syphilis a whole syphilis? And a syphilis on her hands? There was huh? no doubt that the doctor and Hamilton oh, knew Hamilton. each other very well. Haughty, chronic foot pain, rich. I'll mm. cure him of that one day. This doctor. Go. Go. Doctor. Do it. The good doctor, flanked by his beautiful spouse. Pure happiness. Is that Captured the same picture Christ that's... Doctor. Yes! Well, that we picked up before? Yeah. Eyes. Was it Dr. Beaupre who had So, hit yeah, that was important. the doctor then. Well, Nobody we're killed presuming. Nobody killed patient to start a revolution. It didn't make any sense. He had to dig deeper still to understand. Luckily, that was Carl Faubert's specialty. Yeah, uh, it's Falbert! <laughs> Doctors used light-reflecting frontal mirrors to look inside the patient's cavities. That was a bit unsettling. But back then, it was pretty uh -huh. much always the case with medicine. Can I take a potato? Ooh. Does the doctor need all of those potatoes? <laughs> you know what they say, a potato a day. Yep. Keeps your doctor That's the day. entire saying. A potato a day <laughs> is definitely something you eat. Uh, Draconel said, oh, also, new charge, stealing patient files. Yeah. As my friend just exclaimed, new prison unlocked. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Grunfire said one measly throat shot <laughs> that hit her brain and she just up and dies. Thanks, socialized medicine. <laughs> <laughs> and then Draconel says Carl's specializations have nothing to do with understanding. <laughs> no, not in the slightest. Uh, so for this, we need a wire. What are we attaching it to? I have no idea. Okay. All right. Can we go through that door back there? No. Okay. Who's Ernest this? Who's dead? Oh. It's Belle Beaupre. Oh, that's the wife, isn't it? Dead wife. Dang. It would be with the crash, wouldn't it? I think so, yeah. Oh, there she went. Okay. 
Your life is a bell about prey. That explains the melancho- melancholy of the poem behind the picture. Yeah. Okay. okay. The reckless driver was definitely a fugitive running from the scene of their crime, still covered in Hamilton's blood. Okay, so right now I guess the working theory is the doctor did kill him. And locking a door isn't enough. What does that mean? Well, let's see if we can find a wire. It looks like there's a building behind here. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so it just leads outside then? Oh. This is just a... Home. (laughs) Hmm. Tape. More tape. People just throwing out there. Good duct tape. So, in this part of the country, in the 70s, was it common not to have, like, plumbing? I... uh... I mean... Maybe it's because of how bad the weather is. Like, it would not be po- not have been possible back then. It's Excuse too me. cold for pipes. I mean... I mean... Uh, I have yeah. heard there are places yeah. in Canada that get absolutely ludicrous. Yeah, I guess I, I can't get... Uh... All right. Okay, so I guess we just have to know to come back? When we have wire. We have a wire? Uh, what? So where are the other houses? I think these things are closing themselves. Oh my god, there's ghosts too? I mean... Um... Yeah, they are already closed. <laughs> <laughs> We can try and go all the way up the main road to Hamilton's house. That seems a bit much. There's old Rosaire. I mean, this all leads to a dead end anyway. You want to just keep going down this road? Yeah, let's go see we'll old like Rosaire. Every single Luen and La Monte. Here we go. Oops. And at each place, we'll stop and say, "Excuse Carl me, do you have some wire?" His belongings had spoken lengths about. <laughs> Carl had heard moving him. <laughs> Carl thought he knew the doctor now that he rifled through all of his shit. Grandfather said one poutine a day keeps the veins at a healthy low viscosity. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Durhekanel says raid every single cabin. It's for the case. <laughs> <laughs> um, beer bottles are extremely heavy for some reason. You filled them with water, didn't you? Oh, or uh, are those those no, bottles yeah, up I just, there? Uh. Steak is also very heavy. Oh, that that's pretty heavy. Um, <laughs> For all your pinson. I'm just storing the stuff that I feel like I'm not going to have to carry. Okay. So can I actually... What would the purpose of that be if I have a flashlight? Maybe one day you won't have a flashlight. But I'll have a lantern? Uh-huh. Alright. Alright, sure. Ugh. That's what. Freaking criminy. Uh, which way left. am I turning left? Okay. And then the next house is on the right. This is way more kind of open world than I expected it to be, actually. Nope. At least the music still goes. Uh, Crumfire said, for example, the case of who's breaking into all these cabins and touching all the things. Uh, Dragonel says, also, technically the case is done. His employer is dead. Nobody is paying him or compelling him to do all this crap. He really should just go get the police at this point. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Oh, I was was like, can I take the cinder block? Cinder block. Oh, trash. Ah, my... What the... (laughs) Carl is... 
closely related to a raccoon. <laughs> Ooh, scenic lookout. Damn. This is very Until Dawny right here. Is it? Yeah, this oh, that feels okay. like the beginning yeah. of Until Dawn. Speaking of, okay, so did can... you guys hear a new uh, game been uh, announced by those people? Yeah. Oh, shit! <laughs> that felt until dawning. Uh, <laughs> oh, what do you say? I think he just whooped. What the fuck was that? Can you peek in his windows now? <laughs> yeah. Nope. <laughs> what the fuck? God, this scared the hell out of me. <laughs> Draconel said. So honestly, the only reason he's out here is just rampant kleptomania. And then Bucha said, coming up, the most Quebecois welcome. <laughs> so... Uh, Zem gave us a lull, and Draconel says, return fire, it's self-defense. I was going to! I'm a thousand percent gonna shoot at him. No. Well, I'm gonna make sure it saves first. He's just old. And Rosaire. He just shot at a door that opened. <laughs> what? To be fair, we're the ones who have done the crimes. I'm a private investigator. <laughs> Maybe if I listen to my radio for a little bit. It's helping your brain. Yeah. <laughs> okay, ready to shoot an old guy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay. Did you save? Did it actually save? I don't know when it saved. Okay, great. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. He's not shooting. Did you just shoot? Or was that him? You're wasting all of your bullets on the indestructible old man. Uh. Alright, hang on. <laughs> Load checkpoint. Trakenel said, just ram the car into his house. And Bucha said, and yes. The guy said, oh, my mistake, in French. <sighs> uh, Grumpotter said, the door was coming right for him. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess that's fair. All right. Uh, and Ocean Hut said, what we have here is a Canadian standoff. <laughs> Trakenel says, I'm dead. <laughs> Okay, uh, I think, I think, I think we're caught back up to where we okay. were. Okay, go where's do my, that K-turn and get out of there again. my fucking, I just want to, oh, why do we just have, oh, we just have a blood sample in here. Okay. Ugh, God almighty. Um, and You're it does. You're doing great. I just noticed it does look like I can manually save. Can I say, I would love to Carl see the, like, like he knew the, <laughs> the police write-up of that event the after the fact, where it's like... But what Carl had heard he did. <laughs> the man peered in the window <laughs> and returned to his car, listened to a jaunty tune, then approached and shot at the old man again. <laughs> <laughs> the perpetrator's brain allegedly got better. <laughs> and then he shot at the old man. Once his brain was up to it. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, my God. This is way too happy of a song, all things considered. I'm crying. <laughs> we don't know what they're saying. Could be about murder. God, that scared the hell out of me. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm aware. Thanks. I, I'm well aware now. <laughs> oh, Draconel said, thank you guys for streaming this. Seriously, it's made my week so much happier. <laughs> I, I mean, we do what we can. <laughs> Holy oh. shit, what even is this game? <laughs> All right, well, I'm just going to stand here. <laughs> Yo. Ow. Yeah, clearly. Wait a minute. You were 100% expecting somebody. You were sitting there looking at the door with a gun. 
That's just what he does. Un peu de chance depuis que ça rôde dans le Et ma carabine au bout du doigt. Et puis bang, 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 si ça s'approche. What would be hilarious is if now Carl goes, I don't speak French. Si tu veux du linge chaud, parce que t'es habillé comme un gars de la rue, je dirais pas non à une bonne bouteille de caribou. Puis tu pigeras ce que tu voudras parmi mes guenilles. A bottle of caribou? <rire> Uh, Butchus says blood sample. I wiped my hand on the blood and smeared it in my journal. <laughs> oh, and Butchus says coming up, the most Quebecois side quest. Yeah, like he wants, I guess, caribou is a, is a beer. So, did you dump those beers before or after the save? Um... That's a good question. Oh, I mean, it's not the right type of beer. Okay. What you leave, look, see the Wendigo. Oh my God! Is this just gonna be spoilers until until dawn? It might be. There was a time when I don't know why I did this. <laughs> it's it for all of the lip readers that watch us. Yeah. This is, who knows if the sound's gonna go away again? There's a time when uh, hate waged war. Our hunters could decimate the great wolves who had taken our children. Our warriors could snap the necks of cowards who had reached for our supplies. The deafening sound of rock and bone breaking was enough to satiate the hate. Yeah, shut up! I'm reading your book! Now that I survived your damn shotgun. The deafening sound of rock and bone breaking was enough to satiate the hate, and the rivers of blood would express our remorse and apologies. Thus was balance maintained. Then came the whites. The legend of the Wendigo dates back to a time before what anyone but the tallest trees can remember. A time of great cold and great aspirations. <laughs> when the ships came and spewed men in, and their fire cannons, uh, plagued in spinelessness. Balance broke forever. The dead were piling up on our ancestral lands. Too many bodies covered in moss. Too much blood spilled on our stone. Our bone-breaking hate did not suffice any longer. One day, a young warrior had lost everything, nieces, brothers, parents, and hope. Fell to his knees in the middle of a small clearing, covered in the blood of his fiance, killed after having crossed... What is he saying? <laughs> killed after having crossed the path of some whites passing by. He had seen everything and called out to the great spirit, called out to him with words that came so naturally to him, words that could only create a great river of blood and guts, and a terrifying roar of screams. He called out to him... <laughs> He called out to him for a force that no one had had before. He became Wendigo. Yes, I'm the crazy one. Uh, the whites were decimated under the icy claws of the Wendigo. The great tide of blood even pushed, pushed a, a few ships back out to sea. But the Wendigo was not yet done with his vengeance. For as long as the heart of one of his fiancé's murderers still beat in Cree territory, he would prevail. Oh my god! The elders say that it was the force of the ancestors returned to nature that turned the young warrior. In this clearing where many ancestors had been buried in centuries past, a clearing now covered in blood spilled unjustly in a time where too many bodies were being buried. The ancestors heard the cries of the young warrior. Only a remarkable time like this could the Wendigo have been born. His vengeance satiated, the warrior became Wendigo, went to rest forever, his frozen heart melted and disappeared, much like real snow come the spring. The storm that had befallen the Cree lands faded as well. There was much celebration. Balance had been restored, but the whites came back too, as they do. Mm. White hatred is never satisfied by rock and bone turns to dust. What turned to dust? Oh, sure. They arrived by the hundreds, armed with guns and torches, burned down every village, raped every woman, smashed right. the heads of every newborn, yeah. tortured every man that fell into their grips. I Never before had name. unbalance been so deep for the Cree peoples, and ever since it has been told that one should be satisfied with the rivers of blood brought by hatred despite the wrongfulness done to them, because remarkable hate comes at far too steep a price. The Wendigo was never invoked again, but in the hearts of the Cree people remained a fear that one day a young warrior would once again call out with remarkable hate, because they knew, though the wisdom brought by the legend, that the Wendigo would prevail, but that the victory would come at a great cost. The whites would come back, the whites would rule, none would be spared. That's horrible. Yeah. I mean, while this guy back here is going, if you get hurt and miss work, it won't hurt to miss work. <laughs> um, <laughs> Draconel said, we're just rifling through his shit right in front of him while he's still holding a loaded shotgun. <laughs> Can you please look at the screen? Uh-huh. Right in front of the guy. I'm going to start poking at his diapers. Wow, you're right. 
I feel really bad for. Oh, I think that's a bag. I don't know. Um, it's kind of bad just rifling through stuff right in front of him. Yeah, Butcha says the Quebecois communicate via insults. <laughs> <laughs> Grandfather said the abominable snowman thought it was safe to stay, yet he, yet he knew when to go. Yet he knew when to go. Oh. Uh, <laughs> that sounds like something you should send Mark. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> now, I have, an, I have an empty bottle, but like... That's just water, though. He's not going to be happy with water. I mean, I'm assuming I'm going to have to find... You're going to have to what find caribou. Oh, hey. Have we even said one word to this man? Have we what? Have we actually spoken to him? We just walked in and silently well, started touching his stuff. We, to we talked to him. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Trackenhill says, just stealing shit. <laughs> oh, Grunfire says, steal his wires. Does he have wires? Does he have wires? I'm stealing everything else of his I can get my hands on. Hey, that Next. looks better than the to protect himself. crowbar. Okay, hang on a minute. Alright, so if I'm gonna carry the axe, I don't need the crowbar. Can I put the crowbar away? Where is the crowbar? <laughs> Draconel says, taunt. <laughs> <laughs> well, sure hope he doesn't need firewood ever. <laughs> <laughs> Where is my crowbar? If you leave this, yeah, you still have it. I guess it's just oh, you're too close with that crowbar. You could not possibly. Okay, well, let in, it that, go. in that case, I'm gonna put the axe away for now. Okay. So is is beer close? Is it beer by? Ah. Uh, Sorry. Don't get, don't get. A gallon of caribou. Okay, so did I miss wires in here somewhere? I don't know. I took a little bit of French in high school. We could tell them, je voudrais wires. It was just like in that picture. Everybody was on a canoe. Huh, it's the Bible. <laughs> I'm not... If there are wires, I'm not seeing them. Um... Okay. And I mean, we're gonna have to find the beer and come back here anyway. Uh... <laughs> Grandfather says knit wires out of his baked beans. <laughs> <laughs> I want that sweet-ass Santa cap. Yeah. Alright, let's go see the next person. Maybe we can trade an axe for caribou. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it let me save before. Now it's not letting me save manually. Unless I have to be in the truck. Oh, it's in options. Okay. Can't save in my truck where it's comfortable. Oh, can't no, save out can't here save either. can't save outside either. <laughs> All right. All right, am I making a right uh, out of here? I think the next one's a left. I would pull up the map, though. Okay. Yep, just drive into some trees. There, Carl had fed his mind, but had forgotten the harsh reality that his body also needed right. nourishment, especially in the dead of winter. No, that's the left. So you'll come out of here, make a... Oh, you mean onto the road? Yeah. It's a right to get onto the road. Yeah. Yes, but then the next place is a left. Yeah. You know, there's road before we get to the next house. I thought this part was a foregone conclusion. 
conclusion? Well, no, I can go multiple ways on the road. Well, I need to figure out where to yeah, go. Yeah, we the... want to go the way we haven't gone yet. Yeah, that's why I said it's right. I was confirming. Anyway, Bucha <laughs> says, As far as caribou, remember we're in the far, far, far back 40. What else do backwoods people do to spite the government, even when beer is available? Ah. Grumpfather says, drink a legally uncreated maple syrup. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're moonshiners. They're Appalachian outlaws. <laughs> Have you guys ever watched that, or even the introduction Why to that? Are you now? I want to take a picture of the crystals because oh, that's just okay. a thing that he that's likes doing. The game now. There are no wolf tracks near this one. Or are there? <gasps> More caribou tracks. How is a Polaroid doing that? Anyway, Appalachian Outlaws is hilarious. It's very, very funny. They really want ginseng root. Oh, Draconel says you can interact with it. Huh. Pick anything up? Interact with the crystals? Yeah. Try it. Oh, it's loading. Every time hey, I... look, a wolf print. <clears throat> Every time I interacted with them, all it did was it... Oh. Took out my camera. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. just camera. Oh, um... Oh, Dragonel says they saw the interact dot. Oh, is that how that works? Oh, oh, okay. That. That's yeah. fine. Yeah, it's it's just a shortcut for the camera. Okay. Oh, okay. I so you're kind of facing right into it. I like how his hands is just like, ah, ah, <laughs> ah, sausage fingers, ah. Oh, there's a building right there. House oh, of no. the Patriot. Oh, that's terrifying. This, is, this hits home in a bad way right now. <laughs> what can I steal from the Patriot? That truck had obviously seen its share of gravel roads. Carl wasn't a mechanic. But he could easily tell that only the most heartfelt prayer would bring this old beater back from its slumber. With okay. that cold, however, it was more likely that it would wait until next spring to wake up. <laughs> so, oh. I, am I wasting film by taking... Like, should I have only taken pictures of one of these? Eh, I don't know. Because I think I did have a certain amount of film... Uh, Bucha says, Moonshine like Wars is my favorite. Hot. It's like a low-speed iron chef sure with copper pipes and bad ideas. Which one is that? Uh, Moonshine Wars. Oh, I haven't heard of that one. Moonshine Wars, you say? Yeah, they got whole wars. Whoops, that is not what I wanted. I haven't heard of that one. Okay, I'm almost full. Rock music invaded the minds of men, even in the remotest of places. The man didn't own a turntable. He has. So there's that going. For bedside him. sock. Oh, gross. Yeah. It is Jean Bluin. Seems like that pig had a name after all. That pig. Um, he said it looks more like a pigsty than a house. Oh, oh, all right. I straight up just took the ID. Like I just took his ID. Huh. The rag reeked of fermented vomit. Oh, oh uh, they make caribou here. To live in such oh. You had to be out of your mind to cook up white whiskey at home. The all surrounding stench of alcohol alone was probably enough to gas a man to death. I wash dishes when clean ones are within reach. Back then, in Africa and elsewhere, people okay. were ready to take up arms to stand against the yoke of English imperialism. In Montreal, I feel like I should be able were to take that crank. Up, abductions were carried out, and violent manifestos were distributed to media outlets. 
but around here, in the great northernmost, all a man could do is curse out loud against the faraway evil. There was and something pray in between the. To arise. Uh, that man, by any reckoning, was the wardrobe and the wall. Stock. Oh, was there? Yeah. Oh. Nope. <laughs> that was like a bar of soap or something. Yeah. What? This guy is. Narrators are is overrated. A whole... Oh, um, snap. No, what? <laughs> hey, Hawaiian coffee. Did you oh, say that's what Kona yeah. was? Uh -huh. Interesting. Okay. Bucha says about Moonshine Wars it's a Discovery Channel daytime show. And uh, Draconel says. <laughs> Invaded the minds of good men with evil rock and roll. <laughs> uh, new charge, identity theft. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Um, okay, so this is where we're going to make the caribou, but we don't know what two ingredients Carl we need. Carl knew right away that the owner of this place wasn't a copper collector. No, this was a junk man's base of operations. Well, here's the, the wallpaper. The definitely seemed like quite the expert in scavenging scrap White whisk metal. White whiskey, too much isn't a valid quantifier surely. for that. Sherry wine, in the right hands, and mellowness. red metal could sell like hotcakes. So I guess we need white whiskey and... Yeah, now it's showing bottles. Oh, okay. So we need white whiskey and what was the other one? Sherry something? Yes. Yeah. Um... And Grumfire said, that pigsty is way, way more clean and organized than my apartment. R.I.P. me. <laughs> Bucha said, soap. Yeah, it kind of looks like he's just hiding corner soap. <laughs> I think that's just the snow clipping from the outside. Snow? It's snow, yeah. Well, I might as well steal more of his firewood. <laughs> Thank you, a patriot. Oh, our inventory is full. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, the truck's right there. I can go deposit it. With a homemade shooting range such as this, it wasn't hard to imagine a stray bullet ending its course inside the flesh of an unsuspecting passerby. Granted, Carl thought, there wasn't much in the way of passersby around here. <laughs> All right, let's see here. So we can deposit all that. I think these uh, these wood piles are unlimited, aren't they? I don't know. Is that the nature of wood? Yes. Oh no, it's just one. Hey, another hatchet! Now you can dual wield. That would be amazing. <laughs> I'm gonna be Nightwolf from <laughs> Mortal Kombat. Uh, Bucha says you're making white whiskey. For your sanity's sake, you need the sherry and an empty bottle. Again, the game is coy with hints. Really? Where was I supposed to? How was I supposed to get that? Well, I that? think they already have the the. Whatever. Um, the base liquor or whatever. And so we need to add sherry. And then we need an empty doll to put the two together. Oh, okay. And Draconel uh, says, Carl's thoughts really are the most vapid things to insert into this game. Yeah. It'll be funny. The worst character in all of this will be us. Yeah. So, do I have to get another empty bottle, or can I just use... Excuse me. I mean, you're going to have to find the sherry. Yeah. But then, yeah, I think you'll need another empty bottle, or if you still have one. We've been filling a lot of them with water. Here, I'm going to try something. Consume that water. Ha, huh, and it did give me an empty bottle. Okay. Did we get dumber from drinking water? No, it raised it up. Oh, okay. Okay, that icon did look like an empty bottle icon. Interesting. Okay. Alright, so... Oh. 
Uh, Food just says you can empty a bottle of beer into your stomach and use that bottle or find a pre-empty bottle. Okay. Uh, so there's so if one I keep more going down, down this road. Yeah, if I keep going down this way. Alright. Okay. Yeah, I drank the water and the water gave me brain. Uh. <laughs> it was actually down this way, wasn't it? Or was it down this way? Well, that, is that a different place? Oh, that's the Patriot. It's, we're just doing a circle here. Where the hell am I? Yeah, you need to finish the circle and go back out to the road. So, down here. And then once you hit a cross street, make a left. Okay. Cairns. There we go. Cairns. Well, driving into a snowbank is one way of slowing down. Jeez. When it gets super fast, I get really nervous. Yeah. We barely drove oh. in snow this past weekend, and I think... You're yeah, it got, it got me on edge. Flashbacks. What is this? Knocked over cart, some wood, wood. fragile boxes, some cans of Two hard hardwares, work. more wood. I can't get the shovel. No. I can get everything but the shovel. That's not your shovel, Carl. <laughs> uh. Does the... Uh, does the truck have a maximum capacity? I'm gonna put the lantern in there. I don't think I'm gonna need the lantern for a bit. Yeah, it's very happy. Oh. That loading means we're at a new guy's house. <laughs> uh, Grumfire said, that shovel belongs to the land, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> and Dragonel said, yeah, I suppose it does. Oh, huh, the logs show up in the truck. Neat. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, Alright, you're at the wherever. Yeah, see, it says I've taken like 9 out of 10 pictures or something. I don't want to like... Theft. Dear Mr. Lamoth, yeah, Lamoth, whoa. Here's the spark plug you ordered for your Olympic ski do. This model being very popular has made it difficult. Sinking? Yes, I am. <laughs> to find brand new part as uh, quickly as usual. Thank you for choosing the garage Potvin and Phil's in that place. Eek. Sincerely, Potvin. Potvin and Sons. All right, well, this is mine now. Full spark plug. What did those signs say? Uh, one said cul-de-sac. Everything else was in French. <laughs> Sometimes, oh. and especially around here, people are so possessive with their land, as a dog is with hydrants. What? Okay. Uh, <laughs> Trachanel said, a cul-de-sac of one building. Okay. <laughs> Let's get some more felonies with stealing mail. Yep. I mean, it's right there. Oh, and Butcha says, conversely, the deer hunter equivalent of Quebec is, we're in mandolin territory. Oh. Good was a motorless car. The mechanic sure I just stole a, to go a ski, things. like a ski do ski. A whole ski? Whoa. Whoa. man seemed petrified in ice. What Carl saw terrified him, and he didn't know if it was the fear or the cold that was responsible what? for his hair standing on end all over his body. The poor man, before being frozen solid, seemed to be defending the entrance to his cabin. But from what? From me. From Carl. <laughs> Draconel says, please tell me you can ski in this game, it's not just a random puzzle. Grandfather <laughs> says, give him the old 23 skidoo. And Butcha said, oh boy. <laughs> and so we went to the moon. 
The very first steps of man on the moon were made more than a year ago. The event had surely captivated the mechanic's mind. For him to still keep Or he's around. just lazy. Alright, so it's a spaceship. I'm sorry! Done. Indisputable fact that machines like this entailed a level of intellectual finesse that Carl was lacking. I was just wondering why we haven't gotten any achievements. The I forgot we're playing the good old games version of this. That was this week. The plug should have been here by now. We already got it. That was really weird. What the fuck just happened? Oh. Oh. So are we gonna like put a jet ski together? Okay, so... Can we... Is Somebody there like a fire we can light in here to warm this guy up? I'm pretty sure he's dead. I don't know. He seems to be vibrating or emitting some kind of sound. Well, I... Can of nuts. Uh, how do I get out? Can you hit him with a crowbar? I... I, I mean, I'm pretty sure that's the, uh the amnesia part of this. Oh, we're going to get amnesia now? Well, I thought, don't look at him or you'll go crazy, but apparently... Apparently, that is not how this works. What is going on? <laughs> ah! Are you seeing this? <laughs> yeah! Uh... uh. Dragon, <laughs> Dragon L said, "Okay, yeah, we repaired the spaceship. K game." <laughs> and then followed up with, "What is this game?" Uh, Grumpfire said, "How does a mechanic's garage not have a damn wire for pity's sake?" Oh, so this is what happened to him. Okay. Also, I'd like to mention it's nine twenty-seven. <laughs> okay, we'll call this good after this. After and whatever save. this. So there was a wind, and it was cold? I guess? I'd like to leave now. Oh, shit. Oh. Okay, so they threw something up in that bucket. Yeah. Something very important must have been in there for the man to take such time and effort to hide it. But Carl didn't know how to reach Like, him. we're not going to talk about what just happened? You're fine? Fucking alien-ass Garrison Keeler game. What is going on? <laughs> okay, so we can see people, unless that was detective's intuition, uh -huh. we can fucking see into people's, the pe person's past. What the crap? Can we move that chest? No. No. That seems like an excellent thing to stand on. Just throwing that out there. It, it did. You can't save. Don't think of saving. Alright, let me... Go back to the car. Let me find a save spot. Another headlight. Oh good, we're no longer a wallflower song. Oh, hey, here we go. Oh, skidoo. Carl had a hunch that there had got to be a plan somewhere that could help him put this thing back together. Draconel says, Carl so magic ice monster, all right. To be a plan <laughs> that could help him put this thing back together. And Grumpfire says maybe that was his Batman detective vision. <laughs> I mean, it very well could have been. Yeah, in pretty much any game where we have the... Uh... Where we oh. have the ability to, like, 
just turn on a mechanism to like see things milk behind stuff, we call it Batman vision. From the white yeah. to the greenest. Also, the enough. milk was sorted by colors. To this hour is... I mean, that would also be type, wouldn't it? Like, red milk is uh, whole milk. Pink milk is skim milk. Oh, or, like, I guess so. Alright, there's a lot of stuff to get in here, but we need to save. For the love of Christmas. Ugh. Where's the car? <laughs> Draconel says, Carl was compelled to assemble this jet ski so because he is a psychopath already, Carl with warped his priorities. <laughs> uh, Bucha says, lighting fires is your safe mechanic and safe he area. Carl okay. Good finder of Grunthard says, he also, jet skis are cool. <laughs> <in Lamont's land. laughs> yeah. Okay, so you have to light a fire in order to save them. Okay. Do you have fire items? Was there I mean, a fire I have place? I have fire items, but no place to light it. Oh, there wasn't one in the house. No, not that I saw. Also, there's a big old strange ice formation on the top of that little bluff there. Yeah, no, I saw that. I mean, uh, Malo, okay. This one's for me. They're ha Yeah, I know. You're cold. Your eyes are freezing. There has to be some place. Oh, God. Can I just set the garbage on fire? I'm fine with that. Colors I are just, always welcome in a monochrome world. I just picked up a bench, it said. A whole bench? Oh, a fire starter. Yeah, I mean... <sighs> Great. Oh, I do have a gas can. Like, am I going crazy? Hmm. There. Turn around. Right there. Oh, thank God. Okay. Oh, uh, God. I almost froze. I know. <laughs> Nobody likes a frozen Carl. Oh. Uh, yeah, Vucha said there was one in the house. Back left corner as you enter. God, Draconel I says, did not see it. Honk. Uh, Grandfather yeah. says... You better be able to, <laughs> to do sick jumps off that uh, aluminum siding ramp later. Are you serious? He said you'd better, not you are going to. But maybe you will. Oh, that I would mean, be I cool. don't know. This kind of makes, I mean, makes at me this feel point, like I'm I will. Real... Alright, so there's a ton of stuff to get in here next time. Yes. But, yeah, I think we're going to call it good right there. Right. But thank you for joining us. Yeah. This is not what I expected it to be. <laughs> And I'm I'm loving it. Yeah, it's fun. This is I'm glad we decided to do this. Hey, Prangles. Is that Prangles? Nope, that's no, Shingo. Hi, <laughs> Shingo. Uh, <laughs> Draconel says nobody likes a warm Carl either. Carl that's a good is just point. not likable. <laughs> yeah, that's a really good point. Oh, now it won't stop saving. Okay. All right. Well, have a good rest of the week, guys. Uh, the recorded stuff will be up hopefully Tuesday and Thursday, like normal. So. We will see you later. Thank you again for joining us. Yeah. <laughs> ah, come on. Oh, Bucha says, so will be the essay thread name. What did we make it? I, I just named it... What did I name it? Uh, yeah, the thread is already up. Yeah. Kona, it's time for some amnesia in Canada, A. Eh? Okay. Which now I'm seeing might be a stupid name because I thought we were going to be amnesia -ed. I don't know. I mean, we we don't know what who we are or what we're doing. Yeah, that's true. Nobody knows who Carl. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Shingo. Hi, Shingo. Have a good rest of the week, guys. We will see you later. Thanks Bye. again.